Alright guys, the first thing you notice about a potentiometer is that they have three leads, unlike a fixed resistor which only has two leads or prongs on the bottom of it. And this is because the first and the third lead, maybe uh, it's better if I zoom in, the first and the third lead, you can see they're number one and three, when you hook up your wires to that, that's going to give you a fixed resistance or the max resistance of your potentiometer. When you hook your wires up to the first and second lead, the one numbered one and the one in the middle, that's going to allow you to vary the resistance of it. So I got my uh, multimeter here and I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to hook my positive to lead three and my negative to lead one. And like I told you, this is going to give you your max resistance. Whenever you do this, again, nothing's hooked up to the middle. It's going to give you a fixed value, whatever the max for your potentiometer is. So this one is a 50,000 um, potentiometer. So as you can see, it's 48.3 thousand ohms. But we didn't get this to make it a fixed resistor. We want to make it vary. So that's what I'm going to show you. So take your red lead and move it to the middle. And as you can see, it's now in the middle and not the end. So how you adjust a potentiometer is when you turn this dial all the way to the left, which I'm about to do now, it doesn't resist any and should give zero ohms. As you start turning it slowly and slowly, it should resist more and more. So this is almost a thousand. That's about three thousand. Let me turn it halfway. That's about twenty three thousand. Let me turn it about three quarters of the way. That's about thirty seven, almost right on the dot, thirty seven thousand. And let me turn it all the way and that's right near our max 50,000 ohms. So that is how you use a potentiometer to vary the resistance in your circuit. Again, these are a little more expensive, but they're very useful when you want to vary the resistance in our circuit. So that's your intro to potentiometers. Uh, get one out and play with it. Again, these are called trimmer potentiometers, these small ones that fit in breadboards. So I hope you guys learned something. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.